we are at the Daytona Boat Show over at the Ocean Center. What we're going to do, come over here today, got a couple boats we're going to look at. First one we're going to take a look at today will probably be the Carolina Skiff, the LS model. It's a boat I'm interested in. I have my Polar, my flats boat, love it. The Carolina brings you a little bit more versatility, it's taller sides, a little bit more swoop to the front, which we'll show you here in a few minutes. I like it because it gives me the chance, if I'm out there on a good day, it's frustrating in my little shallow water boat to get to the inlet and see it's calm and know that I still don't trust that boat enough to get out there even shallow reef and come back. So the Carolina gives you those options. So that's one of us we want to take a look at today. So come along with us. fishing i'm david today we are at the daytona boat show inside the ocean center and currently we are sitting aboard a carolina skiff the ls21 one of the boats i like i love these carolina skiff boats they're great little boats very stable love them so we're going to take you a walk through this boat then we got a couple more boats we're going to go see today and we'll let the people that are selling them here give us a quick demo of them so if you come with me first thing i'm starting right here i'm just sitting nice fishing chair swivel chair up here on this large casting platform. I like these boats. This boat has about a six to eight inch draft when loaded down. It can get you a lot of places. It's got a nice deep sides. So some of y'all have probably know I got a little Polar. Love the Polar. This is basically a lot bigger, a little bit better version of what I got. So it's one of those boats like down the road I'd love to be able to get into. Um, big, one of the biggest differences is the size. Nice tall side walls. Y'all know we take the kids on the boat with us. The tall side walls really help out. Also helps when you're fishing. These bump rails really help you with bringing something in easier on the knees. Um, first thing is just from the front boat. We'll start with front boat. A couple options here. You got your big seat. Nice comfy big seat. Or you can do a leaning post option. They got a couple different options you can do. Got a rod locker at the front. This boat is not equipped with the troll motor, but obviously you can put one up there if that's what you so desire. But one of the big features storage. Got storage here. You can notice right down there, got the drain going in, but also that is made to sit a five gallon bucket. So you can sit a five gallon bucket there and still close this lid. That's one of the features I like about this because you can store a lot of stuff, get the buckets lid on them, keeps everything secure. Um, basic access, simple panels, open up. Nice. Plenty of storage up underneath everything. So you got the three compartments right here. Another feature they've added to these newer boats is this console. The console has a nice seat. I'm six foot tall, 300 pounds. I got plenty of room, I'm comfortable to sit here. For the kids, for the wife, for any, pretty much any adult, any child, this will be a comfortable seat. Riding down the river, out fishing, just taking a break. And if the urge calls, get some pop this up. This rod comes out, they have a curtain that hangs up. Like I say, I'm six foot tall. I fit in here. And right down there is a little potty. So if you gotta go, you gotta go. That's my favorite part. And you can tuck in and go. When you're done, fold the curtain back up. Rod folds back up. Lock everything away. Also got a side access to the console if you need to get in just to grab something out that you're storing in there. Nice, simple, clean, functional boats. Um, Carolina Skiff's known for functionality over bells and whistles. And that's one of the things I like. Simple rod holders down the side. Nice, simple seat with rod holders. It's got the foot rest, cooler, tucks way up underneath. But once again, it's comfortable. And that's one of the keys. You're spending a lot of time on the water. The foot rest is at a good height. It's comfortable. I can sit here for hours. If you're driving, that kicks up out of the way. Nice, comfortable console. 
I'm not pinched. I'm not squeezed. Some boats are all squeezed up in here if you're a bigger guy. This one I'm comfortable. Gauges right here, whatever electronics you like, you put on there. Very comfortable. Right. So we walk further to the back. So you can see once again, I stopped by the rod holders. Cooler tucks up underneath. Live well right here in the center. Nice size live well. Not too huge, not too small. Good functional live well. One of the other features I like is just out for family, like we take family out fishing a lot while we're driving. You got a nice big casting deck that I can stand up on. But it opens up. Now we've got storage under here. To get to your batteries and get some things. We got storage. I'll take you to the other side here because the other side has all the cushions on it. This one's got the cushions on. Once again, storage underneath there. Snapping cushions. Sit down. Sit back. And enjoy the ride. So, it's been a quick overview of this boat. We're going to walk around to the back, show you the back. Show you a couple pictures of the front from the outside. Take a quick video of it. And then we're going to go on and check out some more boats. Just joking around, having a nice fun day. See ya. Alright, so this is the one we were just in. And it's equipped with the Suzuki 140, which is more than enough motor to push this boat. Nice flat bottom. Got a little bit of a tunnel hole design down here. Nice shape for the bottom. Ladder and platform for getting in and out, making it nice and easy. And we're at the boat show, so everything's squeezed in here. So we're going to walk around to the front now and show you the front. So we're over here at the front of the boat now. One of the things I like about the Carolina Skiffs they've done the last few years, started out with the DL series, now to continue with the LS series is they got away from just the flat front. Now you see it's got that tri-hole design, a scallop to the front. The nose actually turns up a little bit as it comes in, gives you a little higher profile with that low draft. Helps cut through the water better, gives you a smoother ride, but as it goes on back, you get that same Carolina, flattens out at the bottom, a little bit of a tunnel hole at the back. And what that does, it gives you that same Carolina skill stability while you're on the water, which is, when you're out with the family, it's really nice to have. A good time at the boat show hope y'all enjoyed it just wanted to go through take a look at a boat bring it to you show you kind of what we were doing what we're interested in the weather wasn't the best for fishing today so I figured it's a good way to get out get to meet some new people make some new friends and we will see you on the next one don't forget to like subscribe and share us out to your friends and we will see you next time